A sin, something that is not befitting. Oh, or they wrong themselves. They don't remember. Oh, wait, the community is going to say this. Oh, wait, now my career is over. Now my reputation is going to be dragged through the mud. Remember, they're thinking only for Allah. Zakarullah. They remember Allah. فَاسْتَغْفَرُوا لِذُنُوبِهِمْ So they say, they ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness and Allah consoles the believers. وَمَنْ يَغْفِرُ الذُّنُوبَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ Who would forgive your sins except for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? وَلَمْ يُسِرُّوا عَلَى مَا فَعْلُوا وَهُمْ يَعْلَمُونَ And they would never be able to bring themselves back to that same sin over and over and over and over again knowingly. Being aware of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala watching them. Dear brothers and sisters, all of this that we just described is ihsan. All of this is called ignoring society's standards, ignoring the status quo, ignoring what people expect of you, and looking to what Allah expects of you, and looking to the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and not worrying about what other people say, and not worrying about what other people think. Only being concerned with the opinion of one. Allah. And I just want to end with one thing, dear brothers and sisters, and I want you to think about this. Allah Azza wa Jal says in the Quran, لِلَّذِينَ أَحْسَنُ الْحُسْنَ وَزِيَادَةً For those who have ihsan, is al-husna, those who excel, they will have an excellent reward and more. Now al-husna is al-jannah. And we already mentioned here what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned, what He has prepared for us in terms of al-jannah. And that it's something that's not befitting to be given in this dunya. Because if it's given in this dunya, then it won't fit. And if it's given in this dunya, then it won't last. And dear brothers and sisters, the Sahaba asked Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we understand husna. We understand that Allah will give us al-husna, al-jannah. What's more than Jannah? What could possibly be more than Jannah? What is waziyada? And what did the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam say? Anadharu ila wajhillah. Anadharu ila wajhillah. To stare at the face of Allah, the one who you were working for the whole time. The one who when you used to come to salah, as the brother was mentioning, the shaykh was mentioning, you were coming biqalbin mushtaq, a heart that was missing him. Looking forward to that conversation, that dialogue with Allah. The one who was, that you were remembering when anyone was harming you, you would say, Alhamdulillah, Allah will have something better. The one who when any hardship struck you, you remembered him and you said, Inna lillah wa inna ilayhi raji'oon. We belong to him and to him we return anyway. That one, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, getting a chance to stare at his face. And some people get to stare at him in al-jannah every day. Some people have it twice a day. Some people have it once a week. Getting a chance to consistently look at him subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because you love him. And that love that you had for him, it drove you. Everyone has something that drives them. Everyone has something that gets them out of bed every morning. Everyone has something that drives them to work and gets them through the day. The believer has pursuing the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And even if, and listen very closely to this, the mentality of the muhsin is as such, even if Allah did not have a Jannah prepared for us or a hellfire from which we seek refuge in Him, you still would not disobey Allah. You would still love Him. And that would still be enough of a driving force. As Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu ta'ala anhu said about Suhaib al-Rumi radiallahu ta'ala anhu, even if there was no heaven or hell, even if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not prohibit disobedience, he would never be able to disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
Because that's how intense his love is for him. I want you to think, dear brothers and sisters, the next time you're in a situation, the next time you're in a gathering, the next time you think about who you are, the next time you think about the hadith of al-ghurba, of being strange, ask yourself, are you even ascending amongst your family members? Are you even the muhsin in your family? Or are you at a level less than your parents? Less than your brothers and sisters? You need to ascend and set a different standard for yourself. Because you know what happens? We get divided into these cliques. You have the religious crowd. You have the secular crowd. You have the crowd that's in between. They'll perform all the rituals and things of that sort. But whenever there's a real inconvenience in life, they'll go back to the secularism. And we belong to one of these crowds somehow. You get fit into a crowd. Don't worry about the crowd. Think about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if you are concerned with what Allah thinks of you, then you won't care what other people think of you. And that will drive you. Have any of you ever heard of Maslow's hierarchy of needs? Raise your hand if you have. What is the top level of Maslow's hierarchy of needs? Somebody tell me. Self-actualization. Self-actualization. You know what the definition of self-actualization is? That the person becomes independent of the opinion of others. Subhanallah. The person has security, a sense of security, self-esteem, confidence, self-actualization, realizing that they don't need to worry about what other people think of them. They've set new standards for themselves. They have a mission. They have a vision. And what do we know from Sufyan radiallahu ta'ala anhu? What did he say? إِذَا صَحَّ مِنْكَ الْوُدُّ فَالْكُلُّ هَيِّنٌ فَكُلُّ الَّذِي فَوْقُ التُرَاب تُرَاب if, you, if I have your love, O oh Allah, then everything else becomes worthless. Because everything that's on top of this dirt is in and of itself dirt. If I have your approval, if I have your love, if I have your standard, if I have your guarantee, and if I have your pleasure, your ridwan, I don't care about anything else. The next time you find yourself in a fundraiser, and you find yourself that, you know, I'm thinking about, well, I don't have too much money, I'm struggling, give. Give to show Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that I'm only worried about what you think of me. The next time someone offends you or insults you, and everyone expects you to respond, swallow your anger and smile in their face and say, Jazakallah khair akhi. You have any advice? Salamu alaikum. The next time someone takes a right from you, forego that right. Make dua for that person and say, Oh Allah, I pardon that person in hopes that you would pardon me. And the next time you go into your salah, Make sure that the only one you're concerned about watching you is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you visualize yourself standing in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a dialogue with Allah azza wa jal. And with that, dear brothers and sisters, we would achieve taqwa and we would achieve ihsan and we would achieve the ridwan of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant it to us. We ask Allah to love us we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us amongst those who love Him. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us amongst those upon whom He lavishes praise. Because you know what, dear brothers and sisters, right now, what is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying to the malaika? Allah is saying to the angels that reported to Him, said, we found this majlis, we found this gathering of people remembering you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, if he loves us, Ya Jibreel, inni uhibbu fulan. Oh Jibreel, I love that person. So you love him too. So Jibreel will love him. And Jibreel alayhi salam will go and will call upon all of the inhabitants of the heavens and say, Inna Allah yuhibbu fulan fa'ahibbu. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves this person. 
So you should all love him too. فَيُحِبُّهُ أَهْلُ السَّمَاءِ And so all of the inhabitants of the heavens love him. And as for the earth, the people of the earth, the inhabitants of the earth, Rasulullah says, فَيُوضَعُ لَهُ الْقَبُولُ فِي الْأَرْضِ The love of the people is placed in their hearts. They start to love that person. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows it to descend upon them. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when He sees this gathering, inshaAllah ta'ala, Allah asks the angels, what are they coming together for? Why are they here? What do they want? And Allah knows the answer. And it's just to remember you on a Friday night when they could have been out partying, when they could have been out at some da'wah, some social gathering, when they could have been out here or there, they chose to come and remember you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to the angels, bear witness that I have forgiven all of them. I have forgiven all of them. And the angels say, but Ya Allah, there's that person amongst them who's only here because his family dragged them. There's that person who's there because you know what? He wanted to go meet his friends, social gathering, whatever. There's that person that's there for some business connection, some like that. And what will Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say? He's forgiven too. Because no person accompanies such people or sits in such gathering except that he would be forgiven. So we ask Allah to forgive us and make us from al-muhsaneen. Allahumma ameen. جزاكم الله خيرا يا إخواني وأخواتي أقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Amazing video. Um, let's have a purpose in life, or at least find out what you want to achieve in life. And let the only thing that matters to you be the relationship between you and God. Of course, you're going to have worldly relationships. But at the top of your church should be the relationship between you and God. And whatever you do in life, the only opinion that should matter is God, not anyone in this world. Because some people are going to mislead you in this world. They're going to tell you this is wrong, yet it's right in the eyes of God. Otherwise, um, this video was very, very interesting. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next reaction video.